Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents. This one we're going to call a book look, even though it's kind of a magazine. I was torn about this one. This is the put out by Crochet World, Easy Afghans, and that's what I need, is easy. 46 easy to crochet Afghans uh, in all shapes and colors. And boy is it, look at this one on the cover with that interesting outer detail and that textured stitch in there. Boy, that looks neat. Uh, this says display until January 3rd, 2022. Yeah, it took me a little bit to finally get to this one. Um, $9.99 in the US. Yes, that's why I called it a book because even though it's it's magazine-ish, there are a lot of patterns in here. It's kind of book-like. So let's take a look through um, and see what they've got. First off, adverts, of course, but big old table of contents giving you the names of all the little bits and bobs they've got in there. And boy, are there a lot. It says 46. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can jump in there. This one is called the Shades of Autumn. Let's just look at that pretty picture. This one is uh, called the Skill Level Beginner. The finished size is 45 by 55. All of these in inches, of course, because in the US, everybody refuses to use the metric system. And they're using a four weight yarn on this. They're actually using a super saver. Yeah, for that. So that definitely is a good beginner type project because when you're a beginner like me, you don't want to spend a lot on something that, you know, you may not be too good at yet, although they always turn out awesome. But yeah, that's really pretty with those fall colors. I like that. This other one is called Candy Ripples. That is pretty another wavy kind of a project. This one is done in number two, fine weight. They're calling it fine baby weight yarn. So I'm thinking you could probably do it the three and get away with it. Uh, it's also a skill level easy. And it uses a 3.75 crochet hook. A lot of back loop working and stuff like that. But once you've done that once or twice, you're like, oh, okay. It's very pretty though. I like the, the ripply effect in that. And I like looking at these things like, okay, if I don't want to use a two weight, if I use a three weight or a four weight, it's just going to be bigger. Works for me. This one is fascinating to me. This one is also marked as easy. It's called Smiling Scallops. They're using a four weight in this, which is awesome. Um, about seven skeins of four weight, a five ounce skein. So yeah, they're using Red Heart Soft Yarn. The Red Heart Soft really isn't bad. I think this would also be super pretty. Worked in just a, like a mandala, you know, that, that changes gradually because I think the stitch and the pattern would really kind of own it that way. But that's just me. All right. Boy, there are so many in here. This one is called Mesa, which means table, but I don't think that's what they're meaning it to mean. Um, skill level easy. They're using a four weight and a five weight what they're using two different weights of yarn that's interesting yeah puff stitches and half double crochet stitches half double crochet stitches easy for me to say uh give texture to this pretty ripple afghan stitch with two different weights of yarn i always thought that was like the cardinal rule you couldn't mix mix yarn weights guess it shows you what i know but it does say that it's an easy the hardest thing is probably the puff stitch because I struggle with those. I end up making too many stitches. This one is called Soft Sophistication. Ooh la la. Uh, easy skill level. Red Heart Soft Yarn is what they're using. It's a four weight yarn. And about 37 by 50 inches. So that is really pretty. Wonder... It would probably take me all year to make it. I'm just saying. I'm so slow. Why do I buy all these patterns if I'm so slow? I'm a glutton for punishment, I guess. Oh, I love the colors in this. This one is called Seaside Waves. Also an easy. 30 by 49 inches when it's done. They're using a four weight yarn in that. And a five millimeter hook. The special, special stitch. Well, I just can't talk today. And this one is the cluster. We've all done a cluster stitch before. If we've done anything with the granny stitch at all, that is a cluster. This is just a little bit of a different cluster. And I love the colors in that. I love the blues and the teals. Very, very pretty. Of course, there aren't many colors that I just don't like. Let's be real. Here we jump in with a baby blanket. This one is called Pastel Stripes. Done with a four-weight care, uh, 
Caron Simply Soft. Okay, so that's what that's done with. And a uh, five millimeter hook. And I think all of these are Mark Easy. I guess that's why it's, it's the whole book is Mark Easy. But yeah, looks pretty though. Put together with that little stitch. Precious Ruffles. Uh, done with a three weight yarn and a four millimeter hook. And let's see if I can get that in there, sort of the detail on the ruffles on that. That's kind of pretty. I see where they went with that. Another nice sort of a baby project. Another one called Baby Steps. And I think this is really cool. And I think that would be cool in some like more brighter, vivid colors and make it not so baby. But look at that. And uh, it does say skill level easy, 45 by 62, done in a three weight. Yeah, do it in a four weight, make it a little bit bigger. And uh, they give you a little diagram. Let's see if I can not share the pattern, but. So I think that with that, you could really bump it up and make it something funky and not so baby if you're not looking to make baby stuff. I got no babies in my life. So I'm always looking for ways to make baby stuff not baby, of course. This just is baby all over. This is called the baby burrito blanket. <laughs> Which if you're hungry, that sounds kind of weird. But I could see me trying to shove my cat into it. So maybe I shouldn't do that one. Uh, four weight yarn on that one as well. So they're, they're using some pretty easy accessible yarns on these projects. This one is called Beautiful Baby. And they show this toddler on it just having a big time on that nice blanket. It looks like a variegated yarn that they're using on that. Very nice. And that's got a drawstring pou pouch on it too. Oh yeah, I missed this page. This is the Camp Out Camo set. Oh my gosh. Now that's stinking adorable. It really is. And that's the blanket that folds up into that. And I did manage to miss this one. Nope, I did not. Okay. That was just the back side of that pattern. It's dry. My hands are dry. I don't want to turn these pages. Ooh, the Simple Shells Blanket. I think that that looks so nice and classy in a single color like that. They're using a four weight. Um, they don't even say what kind of yarn they're using in it. That's kind of funny. But it's about 36 inches in diameter. So this must be round, maybe? I don't know. Doesn't look like it's round. So I don't know why they're giving a diameter. That's odd. But it looks really, really nice. Just very simple. Mint Clusters Car Seat Cover and Blanket. That's super cute if you've got a little one that you have to make things for. There's another car blanket, confetti car seat cover and blanket. Of course you could also use that to make some kind of a pillow cover or something. I like to look at alternate ways to use things. Beginner's Afghan. And they really go through it step by step with how to do some of the stitches. Like if you're a super ultra mega beginner, start with this because they give you pictures on how to make the stitches. But look. And they got the puppy dog because your, your pets need blankets too. Because they're going to steal yours anyway, right? Might as well make them a nice one. Masculine Good Looks Toe Warmer. I think that's very cool. See, you can keep your titties toasty in that. Done in a four weight Red Heart Super Saver. I don't know why they, it has to be masculine, though. I mean, just because it's not frilly, I would use that. I'm not masculine. This one is called the Comfort Afghan. And they give you a bunch of stitch interesting things on this side as well that I'm not showing you because it actually shows the pattern. The entire pattern fits on half a page. Yes, they are talking easy on some of these. I love it. This one is called Pride of America. I guess because it's done in the red, white, and blue. Um, this is using Caron one pound and a six millimeter hook. I think that it's doing, um, they are 
It says stitch your favorite Afghan for your favorite service member. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I love the colors in this. Look at that. Jewel stripes. And again, they've got pictures of the stitches on this other side showing you what to do. They're just using, it says, you know, medium worsted weight is all it says. Oh, and look. Look at the very bottom of this. I haven't taken a good look at the pattern itself, but that's a place to put your feet. So that you're, if you're in a wheelchair, because they do show this person in a wheelchair, um, you can tuck your feet in, into that. That is cool. Treble cross wheelchair set. Looks like you've got the little lap gun for the wheelchair and a little hanging bag. Again, using a four weight red heart super saver. Boy, they're really making this accessible price wise too, because for a lot of us, you know, Red Heart Super Saver is usually the cheapest way to go. Oh, and now we're going into filet. They've got something called the filet review back there. And I just realized there are tabs up at the top that tell you what section you're in. Oh, nice of me to notice. Holy cannoli. This says it's easy, but I think it's easy if you don't have a breakdown before you crochet all of that in filet. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And it's in a two weight, a fine weight yarn. Um, 2,200 yards of it. That's a lot of filet. Okay. Using a 2.75 millimeter hook. That is, it's absolutely gorgeous. And look, there's the graph that they give you for that. Uh, plus there's directions in here. But that's 153 rows. Yeah, more fillet, more beauty. This one is also done in sport weight yarn, two weight. Look at that. And the fillet chart for those butterflies. Like I said, I don't want to give anything away because you know this is. I bought this book, but it, the the their property of the people that made them, of course. Oh, how nice! This one is done in a four weight. Hello. Welcome back to my world. Um, hummingbird in flight. Isn't that pretty? Uh, this is done, like I said, in a four way. It says weave in your ends as you go. That's always a good idea. If you've got a lot of ends, you're going to have to weave in. But look at the chart on that. That is so nice. And this one, uh, the finished size on that, it says about 55 by 79 inches. So it would make a nice throw. Yeah, it, this one is only 83 rows, though. No, excuse me, it's 84. I wasn't looking at the correct side. It's 84 rows. Dragonflies. That is kind of cute. Here's another one they've got in a four weight. Thank you, Crochet World, for thinking of people like me. Look at this. That is so nice. It's, and it all being in one color, um... I, I think that kind of makes it more of an interesting simplicity where you can actually see the design. And there is the chart for that. Another one that's 84 rows. I didn't realize that filet could be so accessible if you did it with a four weight. Here's another one in a four weight. Oh, yes. It's called Summer Days. Wow. This one is done in a five millimeter hook. Look at that. Isn't that pretty with little butterflies in there, little flowers? You know, and I bet if you really wanted to, you could take and kind of top stitch some other details on it and other colors. But yeah, here's another one. It's another 84 rows on that one. We are out of filet land. Out. We are now into everyday occasions. That's what it says. I'm not sure... Everything happens every day. I, I don't, never understand those classifications. This one is called Watercolor Ribbons. That is pretty. It's a four weight. They're using Red Heart Super Saver in that. And I love this. I just, just caught a note down here. It says, pattern note, chain three at the beginning of the row counts as your first double crochet unless otherwise stated. I like that they point that out because not all of us can just go, yeah, that should be a stitch or no, it shouldn't be a stitch. I don't know. You know. But that's me. I don't know. That is pretty though. Using the variegated with the purple on that. Looks like it's worked more lengthwise. I love that. 
Wow, wow. Okay, this one is an intermediate. They're not just ultra beginner, but look, it's purple and blue. It's called Seashells. It's done in a four weight. It's done in Super Saver. Yes. And that is so pretty. I love blues and purples. But you probably already knew that. You probably did. Here's another one. We're going back to easy. They don't have any that are, quote, hard in this. This is called 123 Afghan. It's done in a four weight. Uh, the pattern is so stinking short. They really made this one for the beginner. Look, that's the entirety of the pattern. That is one if you are going to do an Afghan and you are really, you're a beginner, but you want to accomplish something that doesn't involve a lot of, oh my gosh, this is a four row repeat. How am I going to do this? A pattern like this. That's it right there. Repeating rainbows. Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty. I love rainbow colors. Uh, this is done. It just says a medium four weight worsted, you know, acrylic yarn. Doesn't give you a specific brand or anything. Wow. I like the rainbow colors and I like the way all the different stitches in there even though this is a beginner you've got some stitches that are like clusters and you have some that look like either singles or doubles nice way to mix it up this one is called happy times would kind of make you look happy wouldn't it another one just a generic four weight it says and another one that's a really short pattern just a half a page that's about the only way I can read a pattern and not get lost. I do get lost, even if I mark it. I'm just like, I don't know what I'm looking at anymore. Ooh, 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 little motifs. It's called Wildflower Garden. This one is done, they're calling it Red Heart Super Saver, straight up. It's got some popcorns in there. Finish size is 50 by 62. Makes six, six inch squares. And the reason I love projects where you make squares, you can make them and you have accomplished something. I got one done without being like, oh my gosh, this blank is going to take me three months. I got a square done. Look, one complete square. I finished something. It, you just feel accomplished. Oh, this is pretty. They're calling this easy. Well, that looks a lot more complicated than easy, doesn't it? But I'll bet they explain it really well. It's only a one page pattern. I'm looking at the entirety of the pattern right in front of me. And this is done at just a medium worsted four weight blah blah blah. The special stitch in this one is a front post treble crochet. That's what makes it look like that. Okay, I can do that. And if I can do it, so can you, because I'm still a beginner. Ooh. Reversible stripes afghan. This uses two different weights of yarn, a four and a three. I know, just show you the blasted thing, right? Look! Oh my gosh, I love that. I always love the looks of that. And it doesn't say which blasted yarns they used, but I think you're using different skeins and tying off different things, and that's always a pain in the tuchus to me, but it actually shows you with the fringe as well. Mm, I love rainbow, I love bright, I love blue, I love colors. This one is called Tutti Fruity. That is kind of cool. You're saying this is easy and this takes a five bulky yarn so okay this will probably work up really really quickly a little close-up of the detail of the pattern there the finished size on this is 37 by 50 but in a bulky that's gonna go pretty quickly ooh, ooh, ooh. love me some bright colors this is the shaded squares afghan another one where you're making squares and you end up you could say you've accomplished something. You can work on seven different blankets at once because I finished a square from this one and a square from this one. I have done some stuff today. Oh, I love I love the colors in that though. They don't say what yarn they used. Just, you know, medium worsted four weight yarn. Glowing crosses. Okay. There you go with that. Another easy one. 44 by 58, your approximate finished size. It uses a four medium. See what else we've got here bright delight afghan another bright and bold one that i love 
that's neat. I bet if you had a bunch of scraps, you could really have fun with that and just put that all together. This one from the cover is called Summer's End. Okay. And it says it's an easy. It's got the scalloped edge and everything. This is done in Red Heart Soft. And wow, the entire pattern is still less than a page. That's the whole thing that I just showed you right there. That is an interesting border. My cat would probably eat it though. Yeah, that's what I have to worry about because Oscar, he's so <clears throat> teeny, but he does like to play with things still. This is called the Mum Lapkin and Pillow. Boy, that's pretty. Little flower on there and, and stripes and stuff, but the color is really talk in this one. You know, it, it doesn't take the fancy stitches. It, it's all about the colors of the of the blanket and the pillow. I like the way the pillow has that color blocking on it. Spring lapkin and pillow. That's pretty. It's got some ruffles around the, the edges of it. And just using a nice uh variegated yarn to really tell the story there. This is a uh, Bernat Super Value medium worsted weight acrylic yarn in a four weight. Nice, nice, nice. Me like. Okay, and here we have the ends of a few of the patterns that were longer. Uh, another shot of a baby. Let's see. I wonder if the baby makes any money off these pictures. Probably not. Uh, a grid to tell you how to put your squares together or the shaded squares. Um, Afghan, another picture of this with the flowers and that pillow. I like the pillow. I love throw pillows. I've got pillows everywhere. A chart it says rocking horse alphabet chart. It tells you how to make your letters if you're doing filet. That's a good way to go. Um, I really like these floral motifs. Those are so pretty. Granny squares, they're motifs. Let's make them sound fancy. Oh, yes. Crochet Roll does this. I love that they do this. They put sort of a snapshot of every single project you're going to do, or, you know, potentially do, in the back of the book. So you can get a really good look. A, sort of a, okay, do I want it? What do I want to do? Let's look at the back and get some inspiration. And they've got a stitch guide in the back. They put this in all of their magazines, which I love. And yes, we're calling this a book look today because this is more like a book. This is something I can refer back to time and time again. If I want to think about starting another blanket or afghan that isn't just C to C or isn't just, you know, simple stitches. I can get a pattern idea out of this. Love it. I think for me, this was worth the money. I would have been happier if it was cheaper. Let's be real. Your girl is frugal, okay? But I saw it and I thought, yeah, I'm going to treat myself a little bit. So, Crochet World Easy Afghans. For a lot of you that are like super advanced and can just make up patterns out of your head, this is like, ah, eh, fun to look at, but I don't don't need it, want it, slash, whatever. For beginners like me, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Thank you for coming by for this book look. Um, I do try to look through books and other things. I also have magazine flip-throughs. Um, there'll be playlists down below, and I appreciate you coming by. See y'all soon.